What's up guys? So today we're gonna pick up where we left off last week and we're gonna continue working on our navigation. Now the goal today is to make it fully responsive and work well on mobile devices now. So, cause it's working on desktop, it's just kinda, you know, collapse. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump on into the code and make this thing responsive. All right, I've got the project up and running right now. And if we come over to, well, let's take a look at this. The home page I think is good. I don't think we're gonna need to change anything on this. We might change the font size down here later, um, just to keep the number of different font sizes low. Uh, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. For now, let's go over to the projects page and we'll see the navigation we are working on here. So what I want to do is I want to finish making uh, this navigation what it's supposed to be and make it responsive. So as we move in the browser shrinks in width, um, our padding uh, gets reduced on the outside and then uh, the visual communication breaks and goes away. And we can still click that to go home. But then once you go a little smaller, it, it really falls apart. So we want to figure out where that break is. Pro I probably want to break it around here. And then we're going to turn this into the uh, navigation that we have here, essentially. So it's going to be between like these two pages. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to export this um, as an SVG. And then I am going to export this as an SVG as well. I'm not planning on animating anything, so I'm not worried about that right now. The only thing I might, or the only thing that we're going to animate is probably this uh, navigation, like dropping down. And so another thing that I think we can do here, since this, um, it, it's such a simple difference. I don't think we, we don't need to even duplicate these links because the links are exactly the same. Nothing's really changing between uh, the mobile and the desktop uh, navigation. So let's go ahead and open up our dev tools here. Gonna go to responsive and let's start shrinking this to see where that is. So we wanna break this, uh, let's say around 550. All right, so let's pull up the code. Uh, we need to go into our navigation here. Um, all right, so we're gonna write another media query. Screen and max width of, let's say we said 550 pixels. Um, and then here, what we need to do is we do need to give these different styling. So let's, let's take a quick look at that, what we're going to do. Let me actually leave DevTools up. Let's refresh this and that's actually not going to do anything. I don't know why I just did that. But anyways, once we get there, what we want to have happen is we want to bring these all and align them right over here to the start. So let's see, what do we got here? All right. This is being displayed uh, flex and the flex direction is row. So I think we can change the nav's flex direction to column. Oh, that should be the first thing we do. Nav uh, flex direction column and then refresh this. Okay. And then what else are we doing? We got justify content space between and flex and so these things are going to change so this is going to become flex start so now it's all aligning there and actually i'm i think i'm okay with well i don't know about that actually let me see um if we i don't think we need to change this one i think we just need to add some padding to it uh, or, or no that actually I think that worked right there it's about where I want it 
Let's collapse this. All right, so that sits right underneath there. Um, you know, all right, so let's not do that right now. Let's go ahead and add that padding. Um, see if we have any padding here. We do, but there is none on the top. So we're going to change that. Let's go to our design and see about how much padding there is on the top here. I'll do it on this one. We've got 32 pixels from the top and 16 on the left and right, uh, which we'll notice that does change here. I'm gonna grab that instead. Uh, so then the top is also, it's gonna be two rem from the top and then that's fine. Let's see what that does. All right. That looks correct. So we need to modify our UL for now. Let's, these are the stylings we have for our UL. So we do want the flex direction to be column as well. And we also want to align items to flex start. Um, okay. So it looks like it almost worked. I don't know why that's making them so off. Let's see. Oh, that's right. They all have a margin applied to them. See right here, margin. So we're going to remove that margin. Um, and we're actually going to change that margin. So the margin is going to become, we can do zero on the top, zero on the right. Let's do uh, two RAM on the bottom. So that should be like 32 pixels and then zero on the left. Let's see if that's too much space. I think that is too much space there. Um, Mm -hmm. Let's just do one rem. And then we have the first of type. It looks like we're declaring margin of zero on that. So we need this to be styled before then, I think. UL. Well, actually, we could probably just do this and just duplicate this over. That worked. And then we're going to do um, what are we going to do? We are going to do. last of type and then I'm going to set this one's margin to zero okay so that works on desktop and then when we come down here and we break that works uh, but another thing that I do want to do is I want to take this uh, out of the flow because it's pushing this up and we don't want that. Now we might be able to do um, align, not align items, justify uh, to flex end. That might work. And it doesn't work. Okay. So we're going to position this absolute. And then this should take it out of the flow. Yep. Uh, we are going to push this down from the top. Let's see. A couple things are going to change. We're going to change the height of this navigation, which is going to become 60 pixels. And then this gets pushed down to 128 pixels. So we're going to do top 128 pixels. Um, actually, that's going to be minus the 32 so 128 minus 32 so it's gonna be 96 pixels and the reason that is gonna be 96 pixels is because it's measuring from the top of 
this and not the uh, the browser there. Uh, and then left, we'll just keep it anchored on the left like that. Um, okay, maybe one rim off the left. Okay. Padding, padding, yep. Okay, dokie. So that's looking good. I don't like how this drops down. Um, we're going to change the height to 60 pixels on the nav. Let's see if that works. So it is doing something kind of funky here, and I'm not sure what exactly is, is happening. Okay. That's gone. And... Hmm. Um, box sizing border box. Did we do that? No. Okay, that was the problem. But I do want to declare that above, like up here. And then let's make sure everything still works properly. Looks good, looks good, breaks, and it moves up. Okay, so the next thing we need to do here in our media query is we want overflow of hidden, and then that is going to cause this to disappear. There we go. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to add the trigger button here, um, and then we're also going to need to add it when it's open. Um, let's take a look. Where did we put those? It's on the desktop. Let's see. Close that. Oh, they're over here. All right. So I'm going to open these both up in uh, Adam here so we can get the code from it. So this is our menu item here and if we go to our layouts not layouts sorry our includes go to nav we can see what we've got here so we have the um the logo on the left to take us back to the home we have the navigation on the right and then we can have this trigger and it has an id already but i'm just going to I don't want this to have an ID. I'll just give it a class of nav menu. And then let's see, where is, this is gonna show up and it's gonna push all of this over. So it's showing up somewhere. So it's showing up here, but it has no width and it has no height. Okay, so let's grab that. Let's come over here. It's gonna be in the nav. We're gonna do height, 24 pixels, uh, width, 24 pixels. And then now it should pop up or not. Okay. Huh. Well, for starters, we can display this as none up here anyways. So let's do that. That way it takes it out of the flow. OK. 
Okay, so now it's not doing anything there. But when we get to here, it is. And that's because we changed the flex direction here, which now that we took this out of the flow, doesn't make sense. Let's go ahead and fix that. So we can change this back to row. And then, well, actually, you know what? We can probably just not declare anything here. And then that might work. All right. Where is that sitting? SVG. Okay, it's sitting right there now. So that's all we need to do is declare the height and width on it. So let's go ahead and do that again. Height 24 pixels. Uh, and then width 24 pixels. And if you're wondering why that was being weird a moment ago and not like even showing up, it was just so small that you couldn't see it. I am pretty sure that that is because um, we were using, we're using display flex on the parent item. And I think what it was causing it to do was, uh, shrink to make space for whatever else was here. So I, I'm, I think that that may have been what was happening because of the direction it is or was in. Don't hold me accountable for that. I just, I have a stinking suspicion. That's, that's what it is. All right. So let's continue. Um, well, let's go and create some specificity here. So I'm going to do HTML with the class of, uh, let's say nav open. Then we're going to come in here and go to nav and then let's change the height. So we're going to be giving this the style for, um, when the nav is open essentially. So let's see. Uh, where is XD right there? All right, so this is going to change the height to 120 pixels. So that's pretty straightforward. All right, height 220 pixels. Um, and then the one thing that I'm, I think that I didn't do right is the space in between here. It's one rem. Uh, I feel like I did two or did I change that to one? No, we changed it to one rem. All right, perfect. So now we need to toggle this class on HTML uh, when this gets clicked. So to do that, let's go ahead and um, well, first, let's go and include uh, jQuery here. Uh, this is just using the CDN. Uh, and then I'm going to go to assets.js. I'm going to create a new file, functions.js. And then in here, we can, we're going to write something. We're going to write... Uh, Let's go ahead and grab, uh, what do we name that in our nav here? We name this nav menu. So we're going to grab this and then we're also going to grab what we're going to name nav menu close. We just haven't added that in yet. And then we're going to say on click, we're going to run a function. That's spelled right. Uh, and this is what that function is. 
we're going to grab our HTML and we're going to toggle the class nav. That's so not right. Class nav open. And that's, oh, this needs to be in uh, quotes. Nav open function. Yep. All right. Well, let's go ahead. And now that we did that, let's try and just move this into its own, like include here. So I'm going to write uh, JS dot HTML. And then we're just going to paste that there. And then in our default, where is it at our default layout? Let's go ahead. And after everything here, we're just going to include js.html and will this work all right it's working now okay um let's where is this at right here okay all right let's close some of this junk out so we don't have to keep seeing all of that that was just that was interesting um all right so on this we're saying align items flex and but I do want to align items flex start because I don't want that moving. So that does nothing. Oh, I didn't change that to flex start. That's why. Okay, there we go. That's not doing anything um, wrong. That's right. Uh, let's look at the design real quick. See, there's an extra bit on the bottom there. So we can in let's increase the height of that just a little bit. Um, we're going to go, let's just do 30. Cool. All right, so that's pretty much what I want that to do and we can add some transitions to that uh, momentarily but the other thing that I want to do is I want uh, I want this icon to change so let's do a couple quick things let's go to the nav here I'm gonna put a div with the class of nav toggle here and then we'll close this off and what we're gonna do is grab the svg for the close put it here then i'm gonna do nav close well not class of nav close sorry nav close all right and then we're going to change the nav menu to nav toggle over here in the nav sas so nav menu uh, we're going to change that to this and here okay uh, and then we're going to position this relative and then we're going to say um, SVG. Uh, they're both going to be position, absolute, top, zero, right, zero, bottom, zero, left, zero. And then if we take a look at that, they're all right there. Uh, this is not that and we find the other one this is no longer an SVG so that can go all right so now they're overlaid on top of each other that is fine what I want to do really quickly is hide one and then reveal the other one uh, when it's nav open so for the regular, uh, the SVG of nav close, we want to display none. OK, 
Okay. And then over here in the nav toggle, we want to grab the SVG of nav close and display block, but then we want to grab the SVG of nav menu and display none. And then let's also tell this to, well, here we'll just say display block. All right, so now that works sort of. All right, so what we need to do is we need to go to our JS here, uh, sorry, here and change this to nav toggle just like that and now it should work because that disappeared before all right so it is working now that is that's the style right there uh, all of these still have this and what i do want to do real quick is add the cursor pointer so let's go to our nav sass grab the nav toggle and say cursor pointer and if we really wanted what we what we could do and what we may do is we can actually transition this because they both exist in the same place but instead of saying display none and display block we could actually change that to uh, show like just change the opacity of it and it'll just show one and hide the other so we can do some animations so i think we're going to do animations uh, last on this project so i'm not going to worry about that right now but anyways that's it the navigation is it's working let's just make sure that's working one more time and uh we'll be good to go yep exactly what it's supposed to do all right cool all right guys, that's it for this video. We've made that navigation responsive. It now works for mobile devices. So next week we are going to continue on this series and we're gonna come back and work on the projects page. And then after that, we're gonna add the projects to the projects page. And then at some point we'll connect forestry to it. Uh, yeah, but anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But if you like the content that I'm creating on this channel, head on over to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Zachary R. Newton, where you can help support this channel and help me create better videos every week. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.